Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be demonstrating a technique that I use to paint fire and internal light. To do this I'm going to be using Arno from the Black Plague expansion Hero Box 1. If your miniature isn't primed white you're going to want to start with that color first. Then we're going to move in sequence from the lightest colors to the darkest starting with a bright yellow, moving to an orange, and then a dark red. The core of our flame is the hottest so that's also going to be the brightest. So I'm starting off with my bright yellow and I'll be painting most of the flame with this color. The only part I won't be painting is the deepest creases in the fire. And the method I'm using is pretty much identical to highlighting. The main difference is that we're starting with our brightest colors and working towards the darkest. So the further I get away from the core of the flame, the darker my colors are going to get. And while the technique is the same, you could pretty much think of this as inverse highlighting. I haven't thinned my yellow paint very much, and at this point I don't have a whole lot on the brush as well. I want to try to avoid any of the paint spilling into the deep cracks. So as you can see here, there's only a few places where you can still see the white peeking through. And now I'm going to move on to my orange. For the orange, I am going to thin this down quite a bit. For this part, I want a slow transition from the yellow into the orange. So I'm just going to be adding multiple thin layers of orange, adding more and more paint as I get closer to the top of the flame. I've seen this technique used on other things such as lightning illuminating the inside of a thundercloud or magma showing through a volcanic rock. If you've never done this before, then a torch or a lantern is a really good place to start. Next I'm going to move on to the dark red, and I'm only going to be using this to highlight the extreme tips of the flame. And for this I'm using corn red, which is a base paint, so I've thinned it down quite a bit, probably 10 to 1 with water. If at any point I feel like I've added too much paint, I'll just wash off my brush, and then while it's still damp, just lightly brush over the same area again. On a flame this small, you may not want to go as dark as red, it really just depends on what kind of look you're going for. So I'm pretty much done with this, except that I want to use a light glaze and just smooth all these colors together. To create my glaze, I'm going to be using a 6 to 1 mix of Lamian Medium and Wild Rider Red. And there you have it, a very basic technique on how to paint fire. I hope you found this video useful and thank you very much for watching.